What's up YouTube, back again, another video for you today. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about upgrading one of these to give it better storage capabilities. Now, there is options now to buy third-party SSD drives that fit inside here, but at the time of doing this video, I'm not sold on the fact that, you know, these companies, there's not many doing it, and I, yeah, I don't trust the quality of the memory chips that they're using. So anyway, I went for the cheaper option, and the better option for you guys, much simpler to do. I'm gonna show you how we do it today, and I've gone for this. So I went for this, guys, the Fan Xiong, I think I'm pronouncing that right, M.2 SSD enclosure. Now this is a little piece of art in my opinion, an absolute bargain. I'll leave the link below for it. It's on Amazon retailing at $15.99, that's UK pound. So if you're in the USA or any other country, it's probably less than $20 for you guys. Right, okay, so look, listen, I've been using, you know, in my time I was on the, obviously the old spinny drives and I went to SSD drives, which are this size. And then I went down to the NVMe drives, which is something this size, which is really small, and it comes, or these sort of size SSD chips fit inside here. But now we're onto something new, and it is this bad boy here, like I said. Let's just get it opened up. I've, I'm already using it, but I'll just show you what you get in the box. Nice little bit of packaging. We've got a screwdriver for a doing the installation. And then we've got a little manual here. You don't need any of them if you're used to doing things with your computer. We've got a little carry handle as well. You know, nice quality. And let me just move these things out of the way. And this is the drive. Now in here, this supports up to two terabyte in storage. I went for the Crucial P3010 SSD drive to fit in here, which was two terabytes. And seriously, look, I can show you, you know, the, the, um, you know, <laughs> I can just show you on screen bloody, you know, quotes and this of speeds, blah, blah, blah. But in, it, it's just best to show you in reality. So what I'll do as well while I'm doing this video is I'll just show you a 18 gigabyte file being transferred between two drives. It's on this drive here, and then it's going to transfer onto this one. You'll see this on the screen now. Hopefully you've had time to do it. But look, look at this. It's amazing, amazing the size of things now. Now this just sits so nicely if you're wanting to keep your, you know, your desktop space nice and, you know, aesthetically clean and uncluttered, if we've got a few of these by it, it looks a little bit of a pain. If we've got one of these by it, it's looking better. We can just hide that at the side. But just look what we can do now. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you it in a comparison of size to a standard SD card, as you can see here. We're getting that rather small. Now this is a full metal enclosure, um, so it dissipates the heat. I've been running this now for two or three weeks as my my, my extra storage for my uh, M4 Mac. And this has just been working out perfect for me. Again, look, the size. I just keep it at the back of here, USB. And, oh, I will also mention it does come with a USB Type-C cable and a USB A to C cable. I've got it running on a USB Type-C to C cable into the external um, port of the M4. And it, honestly, it's just, it's, it's perfect. This is just a base model with 256 gigabytes of hard drive space. Now, anything I download um, and my editing files, just everything just is going straight onto here. There's no speed drops. I'm not seeing any difference in performance in either using it straight from this to this. Now, if I was using, you know, look, I'm just going to start talking rubbish if I start saying I'm going to use 12 
4K files and all that. I'm not. I'm at 4K. Most people, or most majority of people are using 4K files or something below that. And, you know, for editing, etc. It's it just been perfect for me. And I'm sure you will find it is just as well perfect. If you look at the size of that, there's a two terabyte SSD in here. How cool is that? Super simple to set up. And like I said, I wouldn't trust the um, the upgrades that people are offering now. It's probably going to avoid your warranty and you've got to faff around. It's just not worth the hassle, in my opinion. So the best option, I think, is to go for the base model and go for something like this for your external. Don't have people uh, telling you that these... Um, yeah, yeah, they probably are. They're okay, but I just don't trust the chips that they're using, you know, because £250, I think it was for me to get a two terabyte that's straight into here. But then, I, like I said, I've got a faff about. Um, there's, there's a lot of messing around to get it running, whereas you can just have this, keep it stock, just have that at the back of there, and then you've got all the storage you need, a couple of them if you do need more than two terabytes, but... I think I've got four terabytes in here, and then I've, that's got you know backups I don't use as often. But this is the main drive I am using for storing anything that I'm editing, exporting, downloading files, etc. Even when I'm editing, I just tell the uh, Final Cut Pro to keep them on this drive, and then I don't have anything bulking up this drive and it does all the editing direct from this and it's just working seamlessly for me but anyway i just thought i'd throw that one out for you i'll leave the link in the description if anybody wants to get one of these it'll be for the uh, uk amazon but yeah look at that absolutely amazing technology is just smashing it these days and price wise like i said 15.99 for that and the two terabyte um crucial ssd i got for this was running let me just check for you that was 133 pounds at time of doing this review you can also get a one terabyte one for 70 pounds but you might as well just go a little bit extra pay a little bit extra if you can afford it and go for the two terabyte one but yeah it's a definite win um i try and review things that i use myself or i buy myself and you know saves you the trouble of making mistakes i've made a lot of mistakes myself in the past on this one it's a definite win so check it out yourself don't forget guys like subscribe and we will see you in the next video